crew sawed up and hauled away what's left of this huge oak tree that came down in Wellesley with a crash. And of course there was no wind, no electrical storm, no anything last night. It was as still as could be. A few days earlier in Reading, a tree fell on a house and in Salem, New Hampshire, this falling tree just missed hitting a woman in her car. You can see these branches right here are so brittle they just snap right off. Arborist Rolf Briggs says not just this summer, but rather four years of dry weather have been starving trees and making them vulnerable to insects and disease. And we're going to see a lot of insects and diseases this year that we hadn't seen in many, many years that are because of the drought. In fact, the state's most recent forest survey shows since last year, the number of acres of damaged trees has more than tripled, mainly because of gypsy moths. Briggs says among backyard trees worry most about vulnerable species like sugar maples, beeches, and birches. He says more drought-tolerant trees are elms, locusts, and London plane trees. To protect trees, Briggs says spray a half inch of water, and not just at the trunk of the tree, but twice as far out, twice as far out as the extent of the leaf canopy. And how often? Good right now, it's, gonna, it's over 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is going to be three times a week. If it's 90 degrees like it was for three weeks there, it's four times a week. Briggs says don't waste your water on grass. Even if it's yellow and brown, it will bounce back. But for trees, the breaking point may be closer than you think. In Wellesley, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5.